Good morning. It is very early on a Saturday morning. It's just gone six o'clock. I've been awake since about half past five. I am about to go on my first day shift. Um, I don't think I've actually said I'm working for the ambulance service as a 999 call taker, or I will be. I'm training to be uh, what they call an EMA, which is Emergency Medical Advisor, which means you take the calls, you triage patients, and then you are involved in getting the correct help sent to them. Um, I've actually already done two night shifts and um, this week is my sort of training and observation week so on Monday I just had a day with my trainers and my and my fellow trainees um, and then on Tuesday night and Wednesday night I had a 12 hour night shifts from quarter to seven in the evening to quarter to seven in the morning my first experience of night shifts and they were quite interesting um, so I will talk about those a bit later but yeah, today is just 7 till 2.30 in the afternoon, so not quite as bad. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if the calls are different, if they're the same. It's all kind of just learning everything and taking everything in. Um, my two night shifts, I was sat with the same EMA, um, and today she's not in, so I don't know who I'm going to be sat with, so it's going to be <clears throat> another another exciting morning. Um, yeah, I'm safe. it's very early. I'm about to go in a minute. And I will catch you guys up when my shift's on. I'm at work. It didn't take me very long at all. I've got my coffee. I'm just sat in the car. I am quite early, so I'm just waiting for a little bit. In my book, if you're not early, you're late. Unfortunately, that often means that I arrive places far too early and end up just waiting. But I'd rather be waiting than to know that I'm going to be late. So that's fine with me. Just take a couple of minutes to to get myself together, to just breathe and chill. I slept absolutely terribly, so to be honest, this is a good thing, and just having a couple of moments to just prepare myself, um, and I'll be looking forward, to, as much as I'm looking forward to it, I'm looking forward to going home too, because I'm thinking a nap will probably be in order. I may be going shopping, but I also may do it tomorrow when I've got the whole day off, so I don't know, I have yet to decide. I am home. It is half past three. My shift finished at half past two. Um, but I stayed around a bit longer to finish listening on the call we were on. And then I went shopping, just got a couple of little bits um, for lunches and stuff for next week. Um, I really don't need much at all, but I don't really want to go very many places tomorrow. Um, I'll go for a walk tomorrow, but other than that, I don't really want to drive anywhere. Um, but as I say, it's half past three. I haven't actually had any lunch yet. I haven't eaten since breakfast. I say I haven't eaten. Of course I've eaten, I've had snacks. Um, <laughs> I have had a bag of crisps and a chocolate bar and all sorts, but I haven't had proper food since my breakfast at six o'clock. So I'm gonna get some lunch and then probably, well, I'm gonna put this away first. Sometimes. And then I'm gonna get some lunch and sit and chill and watch some TV. Um, I think that sounds really good right now, just sitting and chilling, not that I haven't been sat down all day, so really I should probably move my butt, but I don't really feel like it right now, so maybe I'll get the motivation to do that in a little bit, but right now, it's just not there. So I actually had another interesting day, it was a much shorter shift as I mentioned, I um, just thought I'd talk a little bit while I am undoing my shopping. Um, yeah, it was a much shorter shift, which was actually really nice, it's like, oh my god, it's nearly home time, and I haven't actually been here that long, which actually feels very nice. So the type of kind of times I'd be able to do a shift like that is if I do an overtime shift and you can pick them as long as you're there for at least kind of, as long as you're there within a week for 10 hours. So you could do like two, five hours, I think. I'm not entirely sure on that yet. Nobody's really gone through any overtime or annual leave or stuff with us. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so just sat in, um, I was with a, not with the girl that I have been with my previous two listening in shifts, but with one of her team who I have been in the vicinity of um, the past couple of nights. So that was quite nice. I didn't have to learn somebody completely new, but I, I'd never worked with her before. So that's quite nice. Everybody is just absolutely lovely. Um, it is crazy. It's very busy and it's quite hard to, because you're trying to help people and you can't necessarily, you do everything you can, but it doesn't actually feel like you are doing everything you can. I mean, it does, lots of the calls do sort of pull at your heartstrings a little bit and there's very little you can do about it except your job. 
Um, so that's the kind of mind frame that I'm I'm trying to stick to. Is I can only do what I can do, and if I do that well, it will be I'll have done everything I can basically, and nobody can ask more than me of that, and I can't ask more of myself than that. So yeah been an interesting thing that's all of my listening in shifts so the next time I put on a headset I will be doing it myself which is terrifying but it's less terrifying now I have seen somebody do it and I've been with well I've been <laughs> watching people for over 24 hours combined um which is kind of insane it doesn't feel like that um but I'm excited to do it I've got some work to do I'm still that workbook that I was doing the other day I'm still working on that I, so I finished my listening in week and my observation week and now it is three weeks of training. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to go really quickly and then it goes into... And that training is just classroom based, it's not actually taking calls or anything. Um, it's learning how to take calls, the systems, the triaging and things like that. And then in three weeks time I will start doing shifts which is going to be crazy but I think I'm planning to go home back to Cornwall um, in that time or oh, not next weekend the weekend after I think what's the date basically the first weekend in October so my parents go on holiday for two weeks the weekend after uh, yeah so not next weekend the weekend after um, two weeks today I should be at home I think which will be nice um it's a long way but i i i always look forward to going home so yeah as i mentioned i'm going to put my shopping away i figured it was too loud to um actually talk and put it away so i'm gonna put my shopping away and get some lunch so i'm just waiting for the kettle to boil so i can put some rice on for lunch and i'm just sat here drinking and trying for the first time this arctic coffee is caramel latte and it's pretty good I'm not gonna lie I normally when I want to treat myself will get the like the Starbucks caramel frappuccino -y thing that just in supermarkets in the cold section they're in little jars glass jars my brain words not working um but only when they're on a Tesco's club card deal because I just cannot justify spending two pounds something on something that tiny but this was one pound and it's normally a pound, so I thought I'd give it a go, and it's pretty good. Like, it is good. It is not as good, but I would buy it again. Definitely. <laughs> Coffee, that's what I need. Oh, God, anyway. I'm gonna have some more of that, and then put my lunch. Hello! It is a little bit later. I'm now making dinner. I have made some meatballs from scratch. And I'm just going to have those with some spaghetti and a mushroomy tomato sauce, which I'm also making from scratch. I have had a small glass of wine, fortunately my glass is empty, and I've just been watching The Bold Type on Netflix, which is terrible television, but it's very entertaining. And I've become quite invested in the characters, so I'm enjoying watching that, but I only discovered it yesterday and I've watched an embarrassing, embarrassing number of episodes, but had not a lot else to do and I'm just tired <laughs> but I'd, as much as I love cooking I would like my dinner to be done now because I'm ready to eat and sit in my bed and do nothing for the rest of the evening I mean it, I don't know what time it is anymore I don't have a watch on but I'm ready for bed it's been it's been a long week and I've got some training to do tomorrow as I discussed or as I said earlier then yeah I am I'm tired oh this lighting is terrible I can see all of the cystic acne that I've got going on. For those of you who don't know or have never had cystic acne, it's like nothing else. When I get stressed, I get cystic acne like nobody's business. Um, doesn't help that when I'm also stressed, I touch my face all the time, which contributes quite a lot. Uh, but hey, we're dealing with it. We don't care. It's fine. It's whatever. It's normal. Um, just gonna go with it. But it does hurt a lot. Anyway, I'm going to finish with my dinner and then I'm going to go to bed. It's Saturday night, it's embarrassingly early, but I am tired. Okay, here's the finished product. I can't wait to eat it. 
I've just put on the telly, gonna watch from Strictly. It's a bit of a tradition in my house. Mum's already said that we're gonna ring each other afterwards to talk about it a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening, eat my dinner, watch from Strictly, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello again. It is Sunday afternoon. I have had a really chill day. I really haven't done a lot today at all. I cooked myself some cooked breakfast, which was really nice. I did a deep conditioning treatment on my hair and put a face mask on while I tidied up a little bit, which felt really good. And then despite the fact that it's raining and gray and dull and I've not left my house, I put some makeup on. I spent the time and just that felt really, really good to do. Um, but other than that, I have really not done anything. I've just got a FaceTime with my mum, which was really nice as well. Um, but I just thought I'd come on and sort of to round off this video, just talk a little bit more about my first couple of days, my night shift, how I was feeling and things like that. So I started on Monday and I actually had a friend staying with me. So I didn't really feel like picking up the camera and filming. And I was also really nervous and I was just trying to focus on getting through the day. Um, but I met the seven other people that I'm training with and my trainees and or trainers and they're all really lovely. We did some general um, sort of getting to know you things, some games, um, which I despise, but it was actually pretty fun. Um, and then they went through some information about our course or what we expect from the job. And then we just went through our workbook for a couple of hours and they actually let us go two hours early, which was really nice. And then I came back and spent the rest of the evening with my friend before she left on Tuesday. Um, and then Tuesday was my first night shift, um, so I didn't have to go in very early. I woke up sort of normal time, about six, half six-ish. And then after I dropped my friend at the train station, so about sort of one o'clock, I came back and slept. I managed to sleep for about three, three and a half hours, um, which, which was good, but it still doesn't seem like a lot. And then I went to work. Um, I had to be at work for quarter to seven, but I met the two other trainees that were doing my shifts with me um, about half past six. And then, yeah, trying to stay awake for 12 hours overnight, which is the first time I've had to do something like that. Um, it was a bit crazy. Um, there were a couple of things that I noticed and it's about sort of three o'clock in the morning, you get really, really cold. Like I actually put my coat on, it was that cold. Um, so that was interesting, I wasn't expecting that, but I was eating snacks, talking between calls to the um, EMA I was working with and she was really lovely, talking to my other trainees when we had the chance. Um, it was it was quite busy, but there were quiet times. Um, and yeah, and then finished at quarter to seven. Actually, we finished at six because the um, nice team leader let us go a little bit early. Um, and then came back and slept. I, I slept until about, what time did I sleep until? About two. And then got up, did my stuff and got ready for my next night shift, which was about the same, had the same trainer or the same EMA that I was working with. And yeah, it went well as well. It was just hard. It's hard to be awake at the wrong time of day, um, but not quite as hard as I was expecting it to be. I think it's a little bit different because I was sat just listening in and calls I wasn't taking them I think when you're actually taking the calls and doing stuff and your brains having to work a little bit more it might be a bit easier to stay awake but we shall see all in, all in good time hopefully if I pass the training which hopefully um, but yeah all in good time I will start taking calls and things like that and then just spent Thursday sleeping most of Thursday and then Friday I went shopping a little bit and just chilled and did some of my, more of my workbook and then obviously you came along with me for Saturday. So yeah, that was that was kind of my first week of work. I'm ready to go in tomorrow for my start my three full weeks of classroom training. Um, so that will be quite interesting. I think it's gonna be quite intense, but I will talk a bit more about that. But yeah, to kind of sum up, first week as training to be an EMA for the ambulance service was just crazy. It was absolutely insane. Lots of night shifts crazy hours but all in all it was pretty good um, and I'm looking forward looking forward to seeing what's coming next week so I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my evening and I will catch you guys next time bye